Welcome back. This is Arcade Night, and on the finale of this modded Warband Spotlight miniseries, and as requested by you, we will play as Gerard the Wrightford, Grand Master of the Knights Templar. So sit back on your comfy thrones, grab a golden chalice of your favorite tasty beverage, as we get ready to play Sands of Faith. Wow, look at Acre. What a beautiful scene in this mod. Nice little port city. And also, Acre is the home of the Knights Templar. And, I, and also, guys, I just want to talk about these textures. Look at the textures on this horse. Just gorgeous. The textures and the scenes in this mod are some of the best I've seen of any Warband mod. And I got to tell you, by today's standards, uh, Warband mods don't have the best looking graphics. But, but this mod... It's pretty nice, and, and there's few mods that can compare to it. But guys, I wanted to take the approach into Acre up to the Castle Keep. And while we do that, just talk a little bit of history about the actual man, Gerard de Ryford, who was the Grand Master of the Knights Templar for just a few years. Now, he apparently found his way to the Holy Lands in about the 1170s. And then soon after he arrived in the Holy Lands, a grudge developed between him and Raymond of Tripoli. Yes, that Raymond of Tripoli over a failed marriage arrangement, arrangement that apparently could have yielded uh, Rideford a lot of lands and income. Now, oh, guys, just look how these streets are winding and they're leading us right to the castle, which is fantastic. I love the design. Now, guys, after that, uh, Rideford fell ill at about 1180 and then after his illness he miraculously recovered and joined the Knights Templar. I wonder if his illness and his recovery had something to do with him joining the Knights Templar but guys after that he soon rose through the ranks and was elected Grand Master in 1185 and, and that's where we are right now 1185 so let's go into the castle and check out the court very nice indeed. Now one of the cool functions of this mod oh, Look at this. These guys are pretty good. The monks. <laughs> One of the cool features of this mod also is that you can go over and you can actually deposit money into the chest by clicking the right mouse button and holding it. And you can go ahead and select, uh, let's go ahead and deposit that 200 gold and uh, go ahead and deposit that. Boom. So we lost 200 gold and now money in the chest right there and money in my inventory so that's a really cool function of this mod we're going to try to talk about all the cool functions that are implemented in this mod and there's my court guys it if you're curious about creating a character and, and some of the functions of the court go ahead and check out part one and part two of this mini series because we go over all those details in those two episodes and we also play as king baldwin the fourth and sultan saladin all right, guys, so we're going to get out of here and we're going to check out some other cool functions of this mod. We have to talk about the tournaments in this mod because it is some of the best implemented tournaments that I've seen of any mod. Plus, look at the scene. Look at the castle. Look at the tournament grounds. This is gorgeous. This is what a medieval tournament should, should look like, at the very least. But what I want to do is I want to find out where some local tournaments are and see if we can get... Our Grand Master Gerard involved in any of these. So let's see, will there be any tournaments in nearby town soon? Jerusalem! Oh, let's... Well, we gotta go. We gotta go do the tournament in Jerusalem. Alright, so let's get out of here, guys, and see if we can do that. I'm gonna pick up a few knights. Remember, in this mod, you gotta manage the town. And then you can go to manage the garrison. And I'm gonna go and pick up a few Knights Templars just to follow me around 15 or so. And then um, some of these lesser knights too. Also, guys, I have a couple of squires with me. Ooh, I need to move him to the squire group. That are going to follow me around and help protect the Grand Master. Um, maybe we should go ahead and upgrade Levon while we're here. Let's talk, Levon. Let's talk about your skills, good sir. Hmm. Why don't we give you more strength, more iron flesh, more one-handed weapons if you're going to protect the Grand Master. All right, guys. So, where's Jerusalem? Let's make our way there and see if we can enter into the tournament. Oh, that'd be glorious. That would be great. And, oh, Baldwin's there too. Let's see if we can uh, talk to Baldwin. Let's go to the castle. Ah, there he is. Our king. 
Um, yes. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Well, that's good enough. Let's see if we can uh, check out the tournament, guys. Okay, so let's talk about this tournament. Because the mod developers have really thought this out. There's so many different things you can do. And especially there's instructions right here. It kind of tells you how the tournament works. And how the scoring system works. You defeat an opponent, you gain one point. You survive to the end of the round, you gain two points. And being a member of the high scoring team of the round gains you one point. Okay, so now I understand that. Explains the betting system. Um, I, I like this. The options panel. Well, it, it basically tells you how to kind of design um, the tournament to suit your needs. And then, of course, what your rewards will be, so forth, so on. So, let's go ahead and, um, hmm, edit tournament design. So, let's see. This is kind of cool. So, if we were to click on Jerusalem, you can, there's all these different settings. That's pretty cool. Okay. Um, and then change tournament options. So here you could go by teams or you can do random. All right, let's just do random. You can do your wages, the bids, uh, the difficulty, I guess. Um, let's see. Always randomize equipment or you can do weapon choice. Well, can I do uh, two hand? Yeah, that's two handed weapons. Let's see. That'd be interesting. Well, actually. Yeah, and I believe I do have a two-hand weapon. Awesome. And then enhancements. Hmm. Enhanced weapons, enhanced shield. What's that mean? You have one options remaining. Okay. So, guys, you could play around with these settings forever. Uh, but I think this is really cool. To where you can design the tournament the way you want to play it. So, I'm going to go ahead and press done. And we're going to try to play this tournament. Now, Gerard de Radford is not the highest level character, so we're going to see how long we can survive in this tournament. Um, but I think we're ready, guys. Are you ready? Are you ready to fight in this tournament? <sighs> Let me take a sip of my tasty beverage really quickly. All right. So it looks like I have a 200 weapon. Um, but it, it doesn't appear like I have a horse. That's not fair. That's not fair. All right, let's see if I can do some... <clears throat> Ooh. Don't you dare hit me, sir. But you know who I am. Alright, let's see if I can help out these men on horseback. Alright, here we go, here we go. This this is this is my spot here. This is my spot. There we go. Very good. That's a point. That's a point. I think we're gonna win this. Oh, there we go. Blue team! Blue team! Oh, wait a minute. There's one more. One more over here. So, as you can see, look, look at this. This feels great. This feels like a medieval tournament. Castle in the background. Ah, nice indeed. Oh, oh, you, you want some of, you want some of the Grand Master? Oh! You quick! Oh, wait, is that Baldwin? Oh, Baldwin took... <laughs> Baldwin took me down. Damn it. Ah, he had the shield. Well, we can win, and I think we'll carry on. Oh, we got one point. Um, let's see. So, let's see. I was awarded some experience, some renown. Oh, no, that was to Captain Percy. Never mind. Oh, and here I am. Two points, so you should carry me on, right? Maybe the Grand Master kind of yielded to the king, you know. We'll just say that's what happened. All right, let's continue, guys. Um, let's fight in the next round. Let's do this one more time. Alright, got a two-handed sword. Well, fortunately, I wasn't... Oh, there we go. Oh, wait, give me that horse. Give me that horse. Ah, oh, there we go indeed. There we go indeed. Now you in trouble. Now you in trouble, good sirs. The Grand Master has his horse. Oh, you're, you, yep, right in the face, sir, right in the face. Oh, I see ya, I see ya. There we go, very nice, and another. Who's this? Who's this? All right, we got that taken care of, very nice indeed. Wait a minute, wait a minute. You will not, you will not shoot arrows at me. Alright. Oh, that's not good. 
That's not good. There we go. There we go. Very good. Very good. I think we have this round one. Ooh. Rising in the ranks. Very good. Let right, us fight in the next round. I think we're getting close to winning this tournament. No horse and everything. The old grandmaster having to run across tournament fields. This just... It's not right. It's not right. Give this poor old man a horse. He's already out of breath. I mean... Come here. Come here. Come here. Oh, I, can't, I, can't, I can't chase after that young man. Oh, this is not good. All right, you run away. You know you've met your match. You know you've met your match. Come here. Hey, 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 hey. Go, go, go get him. Oh, no. Ooh, look at that block. Come here. Oh, you're going you're gonna to come after me again? This old man can only run so fast. Oh, no. Oh, no. You and your damn horse. Oh, wait. There's a horse over there. Where is he? Where is he? Oh, that horse didn't survive. Wait, you're stuck. You're stuck. Oh, and you're screwed. <laughs> and in fact, I'm going to take your horse and ride around in celebration. All right. So let's see. Is this the last one? You are fifth, ranked one. This has to be close, right? We have to be getting close to the final round. Ooh, my goodness. If he wouldn't have run ahead. Oh, that was tough. Who took guardsman? Petrus. All right, all right. Well, we're going to exit the tournament, guys. Um, but that's the tournament system. I think it is a really cool feature of this mod. It's done really nicely and just gives a lot of control to the player. It appears the Crusader states are in a bit of trouble right now, guys. Not only is the Kingdom of Jerusalem and the Knights Templar at war with the Ayyubid Sultanate in the south here, led by Sultan Saladin, but up in the north, guys, we're also at war with the Sultanate of Rum. So we've taken it from the north and from the south, and it has come to our small lands, especially to the village of Nazareth, an Ayyubid lord or emir is apparently raiding the village and attacking this caravan we we've got to protect it we've got to get away from that caravan oh i've only got 34 seven ooh, a little bit outnumbered let's see if i can pick up some more nice really quickly ooh, can i do it can i do it in time let's uh, manage the town manage the garrison let's pick up more of these knights hmm Tell you what, that should be fine. If I pick up any more, it may slow me down. Okay, where are they? Here we go, here we go, here we go. Up! Oh. Alright, rush to the aid of the caravan. Alright, let's leave the soldiers in the assault. Alright. Knights, hold on. Hold on the Grandmaster. Hold on me. Where are they? Looks like they're right ahead. Knights. And my squire, hold on me. Do I have any infantry? Infantry, I want you to hold back on this hill. Alright, let's circle around. Circle around, knights. Oh, let's get him. Let's get him here. Charge! 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 Oh no! I got one of those bastards. I got one of them. Oh! Bloody damn battle! Get out of here. Alright, where, where are my squires? Where are my squires? I can't seem to find them, but let's see if we can do some damage on their infantry. Here we go, here we go. You running away? Ah, missed him. You, sir. 
Oof. My mount just took some serious damage there. I'm an old man. I don't think I should be uh, off my horse. That could be really problematic for me. Alright, looks like um, this is not going great for us. We can get our knights gathered back. Taking out most of them, though. 50. Okay. Much better than I thought. Much better than I thought. Let's get the knights. Alright, knights. Let's do an another sweep through. Ah, some damn Templars just fell. Come on, knights. Another sweep through. Charge. Guys, one of the other cool features of this mod is you can change the war cry vocals, and also you can change the health bar of the horse and the person you're playing, as well as the uh, sword and the shield, you can change the style of that, and uh, the ways to do that, guys, I have all the details in the description box for this video, if you want to know how to change the war cry, and change the health bar information, but I think this battle is over, we got one more, that's right, one more infidel left, and it's over with, <sighs> we have protected Nazareth, alright, let's get out of here, Check it out. Casualty's not too bad. Ooh, four Knights Templar. I take that back. And one of my squires was wounded. Hmm. Well, apparently to take down a big group like that, that's the cost. Some, some, some Templar Knights. But I'm going to go ahead and get these Hospitallers, and I'll leave the Farmers and the Peasants on their own. Ooh, and let's uh, get another Templar here. Very good. And uh, let's see. Let's access the item pool. Choose. Okay. Ooh. You know, we need all the gold we can get. So let's grab this stuff and we can go ahead and sell it back an acre. Go back. Companions pick up the rest of that. Very good. Very good. Okay. Ooh. And um, although fictional character, very famous indeed. And he was close in the running. Very close in the running. Um, good sir, I have a new task for you. You follow the Grand Master. Very good indeed. Very good indeed. Okay, let's go back to Acre. And let's sell some of these goods and pick up a bigger army. So uh, let's go to the marketplace. Goods merchant. He's got plenty of gold. So let's go ahead and get rid of all of this. This war and run the Templars ain't free. Not at all. Okay, very good. Hmm. Um, the next thing, let's see. Let's go to the town. Let's manage the garrison. So let's grab... I think we've got all the knights we can get. Let's get these Templar sergeants, though. I think that'll work out. And then let's get the best crossbowmen we can get. And let's... That's, that's a bit too much infantry. We need more crossbowmen. Let's go down to, say, 40 infantry. And close to a little bit more than 20 crossbowmen. Very good. Cavalry's about 30. That should be fine. Okay, very good. All right, so we're in good shape. We got a huge army. Oh, and there's King Baldwin. Oh, another village is under attack. Which one? Nazareth again? Oh my goodness! Nazareth has been. Ah, oh, you sneaky bastard! And I'm never gonna catch him. He's too quick and small. Can't believe it. Snuck in behind me and got Nazareth. All right, guys, we're going to keep searching around. I've got one of my Templar Knights with me, and we're going to look for a big battle. Some kind of big operation to where we can make our stake and put a dent into the infidel. So I'm going to see you guys in a second. The Grand Master feels like there needs to be retribution for what they've done to Nazareth. So we're going to raid one village. No, 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 no. No, no. We're going to raid two villages. Then we're going to siege... Not a castle. No, no, no. We're going to siege a town. That's right. The Grand Master needs retribution. And, you know, to expand our little kingdom, I think the best prize would be Damascus. So I think we'll try to march on Damascus. But I think, first of all, hmm, I think these two villages, oh, they look pretty ripe. But first of all, let me talk to uh, Levon, who is one of my squires, one of my Tipler squires, and uh, let's see. Go ahead, send a, ma a message. Let's start a new campaign. There we go. All right. While they're do while they're doing that, guys, we're gonna go ahead and try to 
raid this village. So let's take hostile action, loot and burn, plunder and raise. I'm going to take a sip of my tasty beverage while my men do the dirty work. Mm -hmm. Oh, another Templar Knight. All right, fantastic. So let's see. Oh, this is going to pay for a lot of crusading. So let's, let's grab all these goods. I think we're going to have to sell this stuff pretty quick, too. Yeah, that's all I can get. All right, so let's make sure these these two men are following me. Yeah, follow me. Yes, okay. Very good, very good. And then you, good sir. All right. Follow me. All right, we're, we're going to make a trip. I know. This is financial. Ah, I think we can go here. I think this is another town. Yep, it looks like a town. Let's go ahead and sell some goods here. Rest up a little bit. Let's, let's go to the marketplace. Come on. Oh, no. Damn bandits. There they are. There they are. Send my squires in. Where, where are my squires? Come on. Oh, my goodness. All right, let me take care of this myself. Tried to assassinate the Grandmaster. I don't think so. Get him, Squire. Get him. Thank you. Who is this? Levon. Thank you, Levon. May have to knight you soon for saving the Grandmaster there. All right, there's the other one, Hector. Find his crossbow. Good job, Hector. Get him. Get that assassin. All right, I got you. I got you. I got you covered. T take care of myself. Oh, and I just upgraded to level 10. Ah, oh, thank God I had the squires with me. The Lord was protecting the Grandmaster this day. All right, let's, um, I'll tell you what. Let's see if we can take a walk around the streets. Maybe it's a little bit a little bit late, but I'd love to um, walk into this town proper. Don't you love the intros? Just these little details in this mod. Just really bring it to life. Feels like you're in a movie. Yeah, okay, so this is the same entrance um, that we've seen before. All right, guys, so let's go ahead to the marketplace. Let's sell some of these goods. So we've got so much stuff to sell. Let's do this. Oh, a little bit too much. Got over anxious. Uh, let's go to the armor merchant. And and who was that that uh that saved the Grand Master? I believe that was that was Levon. So let's give Levon some better gear. Ooh, some Sergeant Mel. That would be. Templar Knight now. 10,000? No, thank you. How about a better helmet? Ooh, that's expensive, too. He's got... Uh, man. I don't know if that's all worth it. Let me, um... Hmm. Oh, I've, I've apparently given them too much. That'll work. Well, let, let me check Levon then. I would like to reward him for his good deed there. Let's uh, see your equipment, good sir. Oh, 25. Infantry tunic. Could give him a better horse. Oh, that's one thing. A better shield or another weapon. Or some boots. Okay, so there's plenty of things we could do. 25 is his body. Okay, very good. So let, let's, let's see what we can do here. Put in marketplace. Armor. So that's definitely better. That's definitely better. That's not too bad. What if we got him this armor and some male mittens? Hey, we're going crazy now, right? And some male mittens. And now how about I just pay for it with this silk? This ale and this salt. Okay, and then how much would a horse be? Ooh, it's not too bad. But can he ride this? Hmm. Okay, looks good. I th I th I think he's worth it. I think he's worth it. So let's go ahead and give that to him. Lavon, I've got some gifts for you, good sir. Uh, let's see your equipment. So first of all, can you use this horse? Yes, you can. And how about some male mittens? 
And this Sergeant Mail, very good indeed. It is well worth it, good sir. All right, so I think we're ready, guys. I'm going to go ahead and upgrade Grandmaster Gerard de Radford. Hmm, I think we should possibly, let's do some more intelligence. And how about a couple of points in engineering because we will be sieging very soon. And then I'm going to go ahead and put those points into one-handed weapons. All right, so let's rest up for one night. And then we're going to march on. We're going to raid one more village. Oh, looks like some of my lords have already left me. Oh, they already left me. Those bastards. I think this is plenty, though. This should be plenty. I have a new task for you. Follow me, good sir. We may have to go ahead and take... We may have to take Damascus first. Because the Templars are a fickle bunch indeed. Alright, so let's, let's make our way over here. Oh, you want some of this? Oh, it appears he does. Oh, let's do this. Oh, he's running away. Are we, get, get him before he gets to... Oh, no. Got to Damascus. Alright, what's the garrison look like now? Oh, not, not, does look kind of rough, guys. What's that? Three, four, five, mm, over 500. The Grand Master has to take a sip of his tasty beverage for those numbers. And then what do we have? We have, hmm, close to 500. This could be bloody indeed. I wonder if we can convince this guy to leave. I wonder. All right, let's... Oh yeah, we're, we're running away. Oh, the defense, defenses are way too tough for us. Oh no, oh no. I'll tell you what, let's see if we can, if this will convince him. Let's loot and burn this village. Will that convince him to leave? Come on, come on. Oh my goodness, someone's attacking one of my villages. Of course they are. All right, good. And this will pay for all that armor that I, I just bought for Levon. All right. Is he there? Come on. Oh, that's perfect. Oh, my goodness. Let's do it, guys. Let's siege Damascus. Let's besiege the town. Oh, and it's only ladders. All right, guys. We're going to go ahead and siege Damascus. And once we're ready, I'm going to cut right back. I'm going to see you guys in a second. Hold steady, Templars. Hold steady. All right, infantry. Let's move up. I'm going to have the archers move up and support. I'll have the knights and my squires follow on the Grand Master. All right, guys. Come on. Come on. Let's see. There's one ladder straight ahead of us. Hmm. I don't see a great spot to put the crossbowmen. Other than in support, over here on this roadway. Keep the knights here for now. There's a little bit more than 300 infidels in the castle. I think we could take this fairly quickly. I think we could take this fairly quickly. Now guys, one of the things I wanted to try out in this mod is something called Helmet View. And... If you press the T button, you're in helmet view. And I'm going to try to command some of this battle from helmet view. Because I find it near impossible to fight in helmet view. It's absolutely crazy. Let me put up my shield. Forget about that. Okay, so uh, I'm going to go ahead and send an infantry. Infantry, charge in, infantry! Charge in! Alright, so I have my infantry charging in. Okay, so, can you believe they, they, they almost fought like this? Well, they did kind of fight like this. With this field of view, this is unbelievable. Can't see anything, but you do feel a bit safe, I must say. Oh, wait, I don't feel safe with those arrows fired at me. All right, so the infantry's charging up. All right, let's bring the cavalry in reserve. Bring them over here to this spot, over here on this hilltop. Come on, come on, knights, come on. I've got my squires protecting me, Hector. And Levon? 
Hide. All right. All right. Come on, infantry. Come on. All right. Let's go back into to normal view for a second. Whew. Felt claustrophobic for a bit. Okay. So I've got my I've got my knights behind me. Very good. Very good. All right. I think they're doing a good job. We've killed 12. Ooh, allies have taken 19 kills. Wow, this is bloody siege. It, it sure is. All right, let's um put our crossbowmen here. I think this is this they could serve us better on this kind of a rocky hilltop here, right? All right, Levon, let, let, let's get back. Come on. I have that new armor helped him out. Oh, come on. Get back here. Get back here. Hector, come on. Put that crossbow away. Crossbowman, I, I need you to go up there. All right, knights, charge in, knights. Charge in. Charge in, knights. See if I can help them out. This is, oof, this is bloody indeed. I don't know, guys. I'm, I'm quite surprised. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Here we go, here we go. Ooh. Oh my goodness, there are arrows coming every which way. That is not smart. Let's see, let's find another shield, right? A good, strong crusader shield. Uh, for now. Nope. Man, if I could have a shield for my back, that'd be... Oh, here we go, here we go. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, there you go. Alright, so now I feel a little safer. They are definitely targeting the Grandmaster. All right, we've got some more reinforcements. Thank the good Lord. Thank the good Lord. Come on, my holy brethren. Don't give up. Oh, we're getting up to the top of the walls. Oh, my goodness. Oh, it is bloody up here. All right, let's see. Um, can I get some nearby soldiers? Nearby soldiers to follow me. There is some... We, we've got to take care of this. There we go. That, that's plenty. That's plenty. There's already some men up here. Oh, we got to help them out. Oh, this is not good. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Grandmaster shall retreat. Jeez. Right, let's get this set up right. Oh my this did not go as planned. Not at all. And how about my friends here? Sometimes it's hard telling friend from foe when you don't have those. All right, here we go. Here we go. Oh my goodness, this is absolute hell up here. Oh my dear brothers have fallen. Oh my goodness. Oh, and the Grand Master has gone down. Oh, this siege did not go well. Not at all. They are fighting tough. Tough indeed. We lost 44 men, 36 wounded. Allied casualties are pretty high. Pretty high. Oh my gosh. Now I have the difficulty turned up pretty high for, for this last episode. Um, but we're going to do this again. We're going to siege it one more time. Oh no. Oh no. Well... The Grand Master's hopes of expanding his small holdings is looking pretty dire right now. Looking pretty dire. We will fight you to the end, good sir. Okay, well, they appear outnumbered. So let's just hold them off, and I think we can still take Damascus. Right, everybody hold. Uh, infantry, let's, let's sit forward. Uh, crossbowman, I'm going to have you over to the right here. Cavalry, uh, slightly 
Oh my goodness. Over to this side. They're charging right at us. Alright, set up, man. Set up. Set up. Lost Bowman a little bit further back. It doesn't appear like we have any cavalry anyway, so... We're just gonna have to take this blow right here. Oof. Alright. My crossbowman. See if I can protect the crossbowman the best I can. Don't let too much come through. Alright, good job, good job. Oh no, okay, okay. Alright, seems like they're, they're not firing though, that's the problem. Yep. Grandmaster's not doing a great job protecting his crossbowman. Bastard. Alright, let's see. Let's check out the lines here. Oh my goodness. Hold steady! Hold steady! Alright, keep him back. Keep him back. Let's check out the crossbowman. Okay, fi finally they're, they're able to fire. They're able to fire. Alright, let's get down with my men. Oh no! They broke it through the line! Oh, son of a gun. <sighs> well, this is not looking good. This is not looking good at all. Well, we escaped from that battle. I don't know if he's going to want to come at us again. He's following him. All right, let's, let me convince them to stay with me. We're gonna we're gonna take this castle. We're gonna take Damascus. That's happening. I'm a stubborn old man. It is gonna happen. Okay. I think we have time to heal up. Oh, let's uh, do some upgrading here. We have lost so many good Christians this day. But we're gonna try, try to take Damascus. Two farmers, one very tall and lanky, the other low and stocky, were presented to you to discuss the ownership of a calf. Apparently their fields were bordering on the tall farmer had a bull that impregnated a cow belonging to the... I, 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 I am too busy. Um, neither. Please, my goodness. My goodness. The Grand Master of the Templars, I have no time for this. Looks like the finances are doing okay, though. Alright, he's he seems anxious. I'm concerned he's gonna attack any moment. Alright, I, th I think we're ready to siege one more time. Alright, we gotta do it this time, guys. We gotta do it this time. Alright. Everyone! Hold on the Grandmaster. Man, they are They are serious this day. I don't know how many knights. I don't believe I have many knights. See crossbowmen. I see infantry. All right, we're gonna go ahead and send the infantry once more. Crossbowmen, knights, any knights? Tell you what, let's hold the infantry back. See if we can weaken the walls with our crossbowmen. We're gonna sacrifice those crossbowmen a little bit. Let's take a different tactic. Bring the infantry up just a little bit closer, just a little bit out of their range for their crossbowmen, their archers. They're close enough to where they can get to the action. Okay, there we need crossbowmen. I need you to get here. Let's uh, try to weaken their defenses around the ladder. Best we can. Let's go, let's go. Come on, man, come on. Who is that guy? Who is this guy running like a fool? That better not be... That better not be one of my squires. I don't even know who that is. Alright, crossbowman, let's do this. Oh, this, they're doing a great job. They're doing a great job. Well, the Grand Master just learned something. Templar crossbowmen are pretty, pretty fierce. Pretty fierce indeed. Hey, Levon, how's it going? Who are you, good sir? 
Who was running up there all crazy? Ah, oh, Caravan Guard. Apparently, you don't speak the language. You don't speak French, good sir? I guess not. Okay, crossbowmen continue to annihilate these walls. Look at that. 25 already. We've only had two wounds. Ah, right, this is much better. Much better indeed. Right, let's see if we can move them over and closer. Concentrate them here. And, um, hmm, let's do this. Formation orders. Let's have them stand a little bit closer just so we can concentrate their fire right here along those ladders. Come on. Come on. 45. There we go. Oh, that's beautiful. That is beautiful indeed. I just love to see crossbowmen do the Lord's work. We have certainly inflicted some heavy damage on them. Already 84 killed. I think I'm going to send in the infantry. I think I see an opening. I think I see an opening if we can... Oh, no. And there it went. There it went. I missed my opportunity, guys. I missed my opportunity. I'm going to have to send the infantry back. Send infantry back. Infantry back, back, back. I, I know. I know you men are anxious. I know you men are anxious, but I don't want to kill any more good Christians. All right, let's see. See how there's more men... Coming this way. They got a reinforcement wave. Alright, so 94. Oh, I think I think we're kind of out of luck at this point. The crossbowmen are out of ammo. We may have no choice. To send the infantry in. Alright, infantry! Charge in, infantry! Charge in! Alright, send them up. Man, I wish I could send them up with a little bit more crossbow support, but I don't feel we could uh, build ladders once more. We would get ambushed, certainly. All right, but I think, I think we'll be okay if we have to sacrifice some crossbowmen. In fact, I think I'm going to have the crossbowmen follow on me. Come on, crossbowmen. Follow the Grandmaster. We're, we're going to take the top of these walls right now. Oh, it is looking vicious on the top of the walls. I don't think... The Grand Master's gonna survive this. Ah, oh. and he just went down again. Wow, um, I don't say this very often, guys, but I, I, I couldn't get it. I couldn't take the castle. That's unbelievable. Gerard de Ryford failed in trying to take Damascus. There are 39, 48 more men, and oh my goodness, we couldn't take it. It was unbelievable. They wounded every single one of my men. We're going to have to get out of here. Uh, we, even bandits. Or, or after us. That's how weak we are right now. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. We are in some serious trouble. Who's with me to help kill these 13 bandits? One archer! One archer! Oh no, guys. This is a pitiful end for the Grand Master of the Knights Templar. Oh my goodness. We're going to go down honorably. And we have just a tiny little health bar. Let's see if I can take you out. Oh, no. no. Oh, no. No, no, no. And they take me prisoner. It's a fitting end. History tells us that Gerard de Ryford went on to lead the Templars for another four years until his beheading at the hands of Saladin after he was captured for the second time in 1189 at the Siege of Acre when they tried to retake it. Um, <laughs> so this is kind of a fitting end uh, to this miniseries and a fitting end to the Grand Master Gerard de Ryford. As the Grand Master Gerard de Ryford 
awaits his execution in this stinky dungeon. I want to thank the mod developer. You have done an amazing job on this mod. Guys, I definitely recommend it. You need to check it out. It's one of the most polished and complete warband mods that you could possibly find. Also, guys, if you enjoyed this episode, make sure to go ahead and hit that like button. The more likes, the more likely you'll see this as a future series on this channel. Guys, also, if you're not a subscriber yet, what are you waiting for? Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Guys, I want to thank you for joining me on Sands of Faith. But unfortunately, this is the end for Droid the Rightford. So, thank you guys, and I'll see you next time.